There are a few methods a test house can use to help reduce the test time for a thermal cycle test. The first one is obviously to try to reduce the mass of the product. And you can do this by maybe just testing the critical components um, that you're looking for and remove some of the mass that surround that component. Um, a second method would be to do a temperature overshoot and undershoot. Since the test house can control the environment that the, the product is in, we can go ahead and set the chamber 10, 15 degrees higher and lower than your expected achieved temperature rate. Another method we can utilize, and if your product self creates heat, on the heating side, we can power the product on to help it self heat and gain some speed on the heating side. Doesn't help much with the cooling side, but it'll definitely help with the heating side. And a final method we can use is if your product has a coolant system, such as a large EV battery, we can help achieve internal temperatures by controlling the, the coolant temperature. So on the hot side, we can put warm coolant through your system. On the cold side, we can put cooler fluid through the system. This is going to help speed up the internal process of getting the temperatures that you're looking to achieve.